Good morning, and welcome to Morning Mario here on Steven Please. Today, we've got a Super Mario Brothers themed level called The Dead King's Temple, created by Gilby BK. Those who enter this temple must face the Dead King's Wrath. World record of a minute nine and a clear rate of about 13%. Let's do it. I'm excited. The Dead King's Temple. And it's also been a little bit since we had a Mario Brothers 1 theme, too, so uh, I'm happy to play that again. Looking for secrets, but the only secret is how fast I'm going to run to get through this dead game. Oh, that's interesting. I actually thought it was going to take me underground because of that, but that just took me on the other side of the the other side of the fence. Die, fella! So it looks like we've got um, five coins to collect, and a lot of things for me to, to slide down, which is fun. Hmm, how get? How get? I was going to say, it's like, there's 50 coins. I'm like, I like that. I want to get that. And then the... Okay. Oh my god! Oh! Oh, I got too, too close to this fella. Okay. We good? That was as good as, as we could probably be. That thing died. Whew! That was a little frightening. Uh, I'm at two coins, and I'm going to need more. Let's be very careful. Is that coming back? Whew, I thought I was going to come into this little hole, and I was like, oh, please don't. Please don't do that. I was also hoping that that would be something real helpful, and it's not. Oh, God. Timing, Steven. Timing. Did I just not land on top? I must have hit the side. Fart. Well, back into the temple. So this time I made it down here alive, which seems, uh, pretty beneficial. <laughs> These little guys are gonna attempt to blow up blocks that they can't blow up. Oh god. Can you get over here? See, I actually need you over- are these also bombs? Thank god. Because I need to kill you, because I really need to hit this switch. There we go, so I can get that coin. I don't know how important the coins are going to be. They may not be that important. They may be very important. I don't know what I was thinking there. I tried to catch it, and I am in Mario Brothers 1. I can't make it to the right. Not that there's particularly anything of interest over there, but... We're not going over there now! We sure aren't. Two more. Ha! Ah, you're dead. How do I get down? How do we get down there? Oh god. Hi, buddy. What's in this? A fire flower. Okay. I mean, that's good. I don't know where else it wants me to go. Oh my god. I think it actually wanted me to go that way. No idea. This is a very confusing map. It's not a very conventional um, Mario level, for sure. I need you to make me a path. Thanks. Also worried I won't be able to get back out. Oh, Jesus! Ah! Okay. I had no idea what was down there. Uh, and I was penalized for checking. <laughs> oh my god. What a catch! What a frickin' catch! Are you serious? That was definitely not supposed to happen, and I am going to abuse this to the best of my abilities. That's incredible. Okay, um... Neat! Now I just gotta figure out how to use this to my advantage. Uh, hopefully in a minute or two I'll be back to where I was. Okay, so in all honesty, maybe I should have known better, because, like... You're standing on top of all these bricks. And even though you can't see down below, you're on all these bricks and there's a P-switch, so, like, the game is clearly trying to, like, cause some problems. But, I need that coin. Got it. Okay, so now I have the coin. And an extra mushroom. There was a door to the right. 
But I don't know if I can cross again because of that P-switch. So that's where I was earlier, but I still don't understand what's happening. Okay. <laughs> that's, that's a very confusing aspect of the level. Shoot. Woo! Oh my god. I cannot believe I survived that. Some quick thinking and some in invincibility frames. And I survived that. Something is automating this somewhere. It's trying to tell me that death is below. Yeah, I, I, I can imagine. Woo! Okay, so I get a fight with this thing. And that's the last coin, man. That's the last coin. Okay. Got it. What? What a very interesting level, too, because, like, it was a little, it was a little confusing, some of the aspects, it, and maybe it was, maybe it was there to confuse me, I don't know. Either way, I got this little, I guess, little bonus room and a spare life, which is nice. But I'm also, like, super scared about, like, which direction and stuff I go, so I can't go that way anyway. I'm going this way. I'm not sure what's in there or if I should go that way. Let's see what's to the right. Oh, I beat it! So it looks like there was multiple ways to end this level. That was... As far as, like, a... Relatively easy, like, to understand... That was hard. That was actually very difficult. There was a few, there was a few points where I was like, I'm not sure where to go. Or the room with the, um... The room with the thwomp, and it changed everything. I'm not sure what that was about, either. And I don't know if that was just there to confuse me, um, or if it had, like, some purpose to the level that I didn't understand. But I got around it, and I managed to get all the coins, which is what I was really after, so I'm glad I got to do that. Anyway, that is the end of the week, which means, because it is the end of the week, I'm going to ask you a question. I've been asking a lot of questions lately about video games, so we're going to change it up. I'm going to ask you, what is your favorite board game? Now, it might be a tabletop game. It might be a tabletop RPG, and if so, that's fine. It's totally acceptable to be like, dude, Pathfinder, D&D. &D. You can even specify. D&D 5th. D&D 3.5. Maybe D&D 4th? Uh, but I'm really curious about board games. Um, maybe it's a classic that you played with your family growing up, and you're just like, I love the game of life. I love Monopoly. Maybe it's uh, Settlers of Catan. Uh, maybe it's something else, something along those lines. For me personally, um, I'm, it's hard to not just say D&D 5th because the, it, the experiences I've had with D&D have been so good. Um, but if you make me, if you make me say an actual like game, uh, Pathfinder Adventure card game was very fun. Not for everyone, but very fun. Um, any, I hate to say just really complex board games, but I really love those. Um, especially ones that, are adventures that are going to take multiple sessions to get through. I actually really like those, um, where you're leveling up and you're getting new stats and things like that. If it's a single session thing, deck building games are something I really enjoy, like uh, Ascension, Chronicles of God Slayer. Um, really like that game. Uh, Dead of Winter is fun as a single session game. So generally, the more pieces and the thicker the rule book, the more into it I generally am. Um, although simple games can be fun too. Anyway, uh, that is it for today. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great weekend. Continue to submit and play levels over at MorningMario.com, and I will see you back here on Monday for more Stephen Plays Morning Mario.